Hello guys, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. If you watched my most recent video, it was the build video of my Ryzen Mini ITX PC, um, starring the Ryzen 3 1200, as well as the Silverstone ML08 Mini ITX case. In this video, now that the system's built, I wanna do some benchmarks on it, both with the CPU and video card. So we're gonna see what temperatures they get up to and what uh, clocks they can clock up to without going over you know, the voltage and wattage limit. This system I've put a 300 watt power supply in this system. It's not gonna overclock like crazy. Um, I've got it sa stably running at around 3.7 gigahertz. I tried it at 3.8 for a little while with benchmarks running and it didn't last, it ended up restarting. 3.7 seems to be the sweet spot right now for this system, but it means, you know, uh, if you wanted to if you wanted to overclock more to like the 3.9 or something, you could put a 500 watt power supply in this system. I just wanted to keep the budget for this system underneath a thousand dollars. We're gonna do some tests with the Unigen Valley as well as a program called Heavy Load, which uh, loads up the CPU and gets that to 100%. And we're gonna be running three games. First, we're gonna play Doom. Second, we're gonna play Rise of the Tomb Raider. And third, we're gonna play an early access game, Subnautica. Without further ado, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with the synthetic benchmarks. So the, the stress test for the CPU, as well as Unigen Valley GPU test. Okay, guys, I am now going to record the monitor with my camera. Uh, the reason that being is because I would use OBS to record, but then it would take up some CPU and GPU power by recording. So I have opened Hardware Monitor just uh, a second ago, and, and you can see it's currently at idle. The um, AMD Ryzen 3 1200 is sitting at 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's currently sitting at around 1500 megahertz at the moment on idle, and it will boost up to my set uh, frequency of 3.7, well just under 3.7 gigahertz. Now down here we have the graphics card, the GTX 1050 Ti. Here we have a resting temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. The fans are currently sitting at 45%. Um, I haven't adjusted the fan curve at all for this card, so I could actually adjust that a bit lower so it's really quiet at idle. Sitting at a resting clock of 139 megahertz on the clock and the memory speed's 405. So now that we've got our idle temps and speeds of our hardware, I've opened up Unigen Valley uh, for, to test out our graphics card, and I've opened up a program called Heavy Load, which is actually a, a free open source program. You can actually test your graphics card in this software too, but I had some issues with that. Um, it wasn't loading textures properly. So I'm only gonna stress the CPU. I've got it selected there at the top. And down here, I've got a handy little website called onlinestopwatch.com. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit go on both benchmarks and start the clock as soon as I can after. Of course, I can't click everything at once. So I'm gonna click probably the graphics card test first because that takes a little bit of CPU to get going. Then I'll start the, G the CPU stress test. Then I'll hit the clock as soon as I can and start the stopwatch. And in a couple of minutes time, I'll I'll report back and, and see what the temperatures are over here in hardware monitor. So without further ado, we're gonna run uh, Unigen Valley and you can see here we're running at DirectX 11. The preset's custom because I've set the quality to ultra but I'm only running at 720p because we are gonna run this in a window. This is a 1080p monitor but we won't be running at full screen because we want to see all the uh, clock speeds and temperatures as well. Um, I'll put anti-aliasing up to times eight. So we're going to run Valley. Uh, takes a few moments to start up. So it's, it's already probably started using the CPU already for that. And our stress test here, we're going to go start and we're going to go start stopwatch. There we go. So now both benchmarks are running. Let's have a look over here at our temps and speeds. So as you can see, it's been a few moments since we started our testing and already the CPU is up to the low 40 degrees area. Our clock speed is right up to nearly 3.7 gigahertz, utilizing 100% of every core. Graphics card, we are looking at now 43 degrees currently, 44 um, from our original 22 that it was resting at. Uh, the fans are still around the 45% mark. They'll boost up once we hit around 50 degrees Celsius. I think the fans will go up to 50 or 55% then. They'll get a little louder. The clock speeds you can see here, we're sitting at 1860 megahertz. I've left this card um, un untapped. Um, I could overclock it further. I've left it basically at the out of the box spec. So the Zotac GTX 1050 Ti OC comes out of the box at 1860 megahertz boost. So that's what it's getting. Actually, it's been as high as 1873. So that's pretty good. And the memory is also untouched. I haven't done any overclocking on that yet. You can see we're using 99% of our GPU. So in a few moments, guys, it's already been a minute. Uh, I'll come back to you in a second and update you on the temps and frequencies. All right, you can see here now we are nearing the five minute mark on our stopwatch. And currently the temperatures are looking pretty good. We're sitting at 50 degrees Celsius at the moment on the CPU. Still sitting at 100%, of course. We're still running that heavy load benchmark over there. Down here with the graphics, we've got a bit of a hotter temperature here, um, but it's not too bad. The, the fans are sitting at now 51%. 
keeping our GPU basically at 55 degrees. It hasn't really budged in the last couple of minutes. So you can see actually there, it dipped down for a split second. The graphics card now is 100% load, well 99%, and it's pretty much gonna stay at 55 degrees Celsius unless we clock higher. Uh, you can see though, it has uh, modified our clock speed a little bit. We were sitting at 1860 megahertz before, we are now down to 1823, so a little bit lower, not too bad. Oh, it's going a bit lower again. We went up to 56, that's why. So we're bouncing around in the mid 50s and that's affecting our clock speed. But of course the fans are only running at 51%. So we could actually increase the fan speed and get a much better temp and much higher clock if we wanted to. There we go, it's sitting back around 1823. It's pretty good. Back up to CPU, we're still sitting at 50. So now it's been over six and a half minutes. Mind you, we're only running the CPU at 1.188 volts. So it's actually a very low voltage, but this keeps the power down a lot. Um, it's still 3.7 gigahertz is still not a bad clock. I know you can get these up to 3.9, but then you've really got to increase the voltage a fair bit to get that. So I think that'll do it for our synthetic tests, guys. Uh, we're still sitting around 50 degrees Celsius for the CPU. We're not really budging much there. Our GPU, however, is getting a little hotter here and there. I mean, it's taken a while to get there, but our fan speed still hasn't gone up over 51%. As soon as that goes up to say 55 or 60%, then of course our temperature will drop back down to below 55. Um, so yeah, it's, it's sitting between 55 and 57 degrees at max load. So that's pretty good. Uh, our megahertz now is 1848, 1835. It's fluctuating again, but yeah, sitting quite well. I'm gonna now stop the tests and let the CPU and GPU fall back down to their idle temps and clock speed. And then we are going to run a couple of games and see how they fare. All right, guys, we are now loading up Doom. All right, we are in the game. Uh, first of all, I'm going to check what graphics settings we are working with. Uh, so we are running at, oh, hold on. That's not right. It was a 16 by 10 ratio. All right, so now I've got it set to 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, vertical sync is off. And in the advanced tab, we're actually going to try the high preset for now and see how we go. If it's... Uh, too little or too much for the card, we'll adjust it accordingly. So let's try with those settings. All right, so right now we're at the beginning of the level and we are sitting around 70 frames per second, which is not bad. So we're at the high preset. We are starting to get some enemies now though. So we'll see how our performance goes when we are uh, met with a bunch of enemies. Still sitting around the 70s. Oh, we, we're into the 80s now. There we go, get him. Yep, 70s and 80s so far. So it's still in the 70s, even though we've got some enemies fighting us, we're still sitting in the 70s and low 80s. Oh, shit, how did I miss you bloody three times? Uh, we actually dipped down into the 50s just then, guys, with those couple of enemies, so uh, not looking too good there. Remember, we are on the high preset. Let's go back in the settings right now and have a look, actually. So on the video, we've selected SMAA. It was preset to SMAA. Let's put it back to that and see how we go, because we're aiming for around a 60 FPS gaming experience right now. I mean, we don't really want it dropping down into the 50s at all, but we'll see how this goes. All right, from the sounds of things, guys, we're gonna get into a bunch of enemies here. Oh yeah, got a couple of them there. Gotcha, and gotcha. Whoa, gory as hell. All right, we're sitting around 60 FPS right now, which is exactly where we wanna be. It just went up to 70s just then though. Don't know why that was. So we're back in the 70s right now, even though I upped the uh, anti-aliasing level. So it's still in the 70s, guys, even though we got all these enemies around. Shit, I'm getting swarmed right now. There we go, give me some health back. And still in the 70s, uh, high 60s, low 70s, guys. So for most of the time, sometimes we get in the 80s, sometimes we dip down under 60, which is not good. But for the most part, we're sitting exactly where we want to be. Looks like Doom is a go for this card, guys. Um, how about set the overall quality to Ultra? How do we go now? So let's find some more enemies. All right, so remember now we are running on Ultra preset 1080p right now, so we might dip. Yeah, there we go. We're dipping down into the 50s now. A uh, bit of explosions there. Yep, mid to low 50s. Still not a bad experience though. It's still smooth. So yes, we are a bit lower now, but the eye candy has been increased a lot, so um, still around the 60 frames per second mark with the GTX 1050 Ti card. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So we're gonna stop Doom now and we're gonna run Rise of the Tomb Raider. And straight away we're gonna go, go into options and the preset we are gonna set. Hmm, let's start with medium. Rise of the Tomb Raider is quite an intensive game to run. We're gonna try it out first with a medium preset and then if we have a few frames a second to spare there, we're gonna bump it up to high and see how it handles it. Okay, here we are guys. Uh, straight away I can tell we're way under 50 because I saw the jaggedness of the 
picture here, uh, we're sitting at around 50 FPS, sometimes dipping lower, sometimes dipping a bit, uh, sometimes coming up a bit higher. Uh, currently around 49, 50 FPS, and we're not even doing anything yet, so that's a bit worrying. All right, I'm gonna crawl across this rope. I'm gonna look at the rocks here. Not too bad, we're sitting mid 50s right now, sometimes hitting 60. No, we're way under 50 now. Oh no, we went back up. Jesus, oh, I nearly lost it there. Oh, I see, we gotta go around this side. My bad. So the truck's gonna fall after a certain amount of time. There we go. We're fine now. Truck will fall off in a minute. So yeah, we're sitting around the 50 frames a second mark, mostly. Um, not too bad. I mean, it is on medium. It still looks great for medium settings. How about we change it up to high presets? Motion blur, we're gonna turn motion blur off. We don't need it. And um, fill grain, fill grain's already off, good. All right, go back. All right, we are now on the high preset 1080p with the 1050Ti. Uh, now we're sitting around low 40s, high 30s. That's not really acceptable for a smooth experience. You can probably see on camera right now that it's not the smoothest experience. Oh, we're getting better now. We're up to 50. Oh, back down in the 40s. It's not terrible. Anyway, guys, that was Rise of the Tomb Raider uh, tested on medium presets with a few settings disabled and changed there. So now we're going to quit Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're going to launch Subnautica. Okay, here we have an early access game called Subnautica. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this game before. Uh, we are running at 1920 by 1080 graphics, full screen, V-Sync is off. Uh, we are not running anti-aliasing because this game really, really struggles under that sort of setting. Uh, quality though, we're gonna leave on highest and high for water quality. That's about it. There's not many graphic settings for this game, unfortunately, to change around. Um, so yeah, those are the settings I'm gonna use first. So here we go. I'm just gonna load, I've got a creative game here. We're gonna load. All right, here we are. I am in my Cyclops, which is a big submarine. Uh, we're currently sitting around, oh, 90 frames a second. 93, 92, not bad. I'm gonna run backwards and forwards through my sub a little bit and see how we go. Oh, there we go. It hit 70 for a second there. All right, so not too bad in our current area. Um, of course, this is all already loaded around us, but what happens if we uh, travel through the ocean? So I'm gonna get in my little submarine here, the Seamoth, jumping in. We're still sitting at over 100 frames a second. I'm actually flabbergasted at that number. Oh, there we go. We're dropping down to the 80s, high, uh, low 90s, high 80s. Okay, let's journey around here a little bit now. As it loads things in, there we go. Frames are going down into the 70s now. Oh, 49, do you see that? We actually hit 49 for a second there, 50s. Oh, we're in the 50s and 40s now. You can see this game is uh, gives you quite a big range of FPS. Uh, we were up in the about 120 FPS when we started running this game. And then now, as we're traveling through biomes and loading and unloading textures on the fly, we are now getting down between 30 and 60 FPS mostly. Uh, sometimes it bounces up to the 70s again, but uh, pretty much only when we've loaded the area that we're in. If I actually stop my sub here, uh, it'll eventually load everything around. There we go, frames are going back up. 60s, 70s, 75, 78. So we're climbing back up to the 80s now. Now we're gonna pilot our Cyclops through a bit of the ocean and see how we perform here. So back to 100 FPS, because we went back in our sub. Um, looks like we're fine. Uh, we're going to mid 70s and then back up again to the 80s. Oh, we dipped to 69 for a second there. You know what? Let's also go anti-aliasing. There's actually only one setting for anti-aliasing. It's either on or off. I don't know uh, what differences there are with that. If I don't know what type of anti-aliasing it's gonna run now, but let's see how we perform now. Oh yeah. 59 frames, 60s, still not not very bad. All right, so it looks like Subnautica um, is quite a success to run. Uh, we've actually got the game absolutely maxed at 1080p right now, driving around through biomes, and we're sitting in the 80s and 70s, sometimes in 90s, so not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. All right, guys, that concludes my testing and benchmarking of my Ryzen 3 1200 Mini ITX system. Um, if you want to know more about the system as far as like all the parts listed and everything uh, the actual build video of it as well You can go back through my channel and there's videos on this system I think this is my fourth video on this system now the first being the build guide uh, On the website where I bought all the parts the second being an unboxing and reveal of all the parts The third video being the actual build video of this system. Uh, it's only about eight minutes long So go and check it out if you have time um, It's mostly a time-lapse of the build so it's not a really like in-depth sort of step-by-step -step build and now we've got video 4 which is this one which is testing it so if you guys want to see more about this system let me know in the comments below uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys around the channel all right have a good one